to install the door handles on the inside you just take out this little screw with the included allen wrench figure out which way you want the door handle to go and then screw For the outside doorknob, here's this little brass plug. Again, you just figure out which side you want the door handle to go on. Stick the plug in the little hole there. Put your insert in the edge on the opposite end of the side you stuck the screw in. And then you may have to turn the key a little bit for it to go in all the way. And then once you turn the key again, you'll see the knob stick out. That's all there is to it. Pull it into the door, you'll take the outside piece, feed the wire through the bottom, and then put the center in, and just wiggle it in there, pull the cable on the other side, and you can look on the other side so you get the holes lined up. Just put it in nice and tight and then you'll take your inside piece and connect the wire and then you'll just put that in the center. And you'll take your screws just tighten those up and that's all there is to that piece the first two things you'll want to do after you get the doorknob installed is change the programming code to do that you'll hit zero star default programming code of one two three four then pound you'll hear two beeps enter a new programming code then star and confirm it and then pound if it was success you'll get two beeps and then you'll want to program an administrator fingerprint you hit star and then your programming code then pound, then one star adds a fingerprint, choose the user ID of zero for the administrator, and pound, then go ahead and place your fingerprint on top, and you'll hear a beep if it was successful. You can go ahead and test it out. Door unlocks. That's all there is to it. To add a fingerprint, just log in by hitting star, your programming code, pound. Choose one star to add a fingerprint. Choose the user ID, 1 through 99 and pound. Place your fingerprint on top. Then it'll get a blue light to confirm and a long beep. Then you can go ahead and Test your fingerprint, 
and it worked. You can make sure that it's only recognizing your finger by trying a different finger that you haven't programmed yet and it'll get red lights and the door won't on won't open. That's all there is. So after getting this door lock installed and using it for a while, I have to say I'm really impressed with it. There's uh, three ways you can open the door. You can use the key. You can use your fingerprint. Or you can also enter a code. It automatically locks when it's shut, so make sure you have one of those three options to open it. This works really well to secure my office. Um, I would have trouble using it on one of my outside doors because my door locks, my deadbolts, they come down to about here I'll show you in a picture so if you were wanting to use this on an outside door make sure that you have a, a round deadbolt or one that's gonna not interfere with the panel there um, when I've been using it I found that it hasn't misread any fingerprints and let me in when it wasn't supposed to It only works with the fingerprints I've chosen. Uh, you can program up to a hundred different fingerprints and number combinations. It's really feels really sturdy. On the back side, you have your panel where you can install the batteries. Um, underneath the panel, you can. Uh, anchor with a screw this part into the door but I find I don't really need to do that it works pretty well on its own um, yeah I, I really enjoy it. it feels sturdy feels like I'll get a lot of good use out of it